Hello community, hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see overview of the list view and what is list view here and how we can create a list view in Odoo side. Plus, we will see the supported features in the list view. And in case you missed previous discussion about the search view and related operations, please check. Link is given in description. You can see here in this playlist if you go to here in this playlist you can see here this Odoo view like front end views this playlist you can see here view related discussion is here with the real test case and let's say if you are following this playlist this one then you don't need to follow any other Odoo related playlist because this is the main playlist and like if you want to learn Odoo with specific topic wise you can just review any of the playlist and uh, if you need more support then you can just go to here in the about page and you can just shoot your query to this email address so let's back to our main topic today like and we'll see the first overview of the list view and then after we are trying to create one list view here so here you can see in the screen if you want to see the list of records in a tabular format it's called a list view here and then after like you can see the list of features supported by the list view so here like we can add a simple list view as you can see in the last screenshot then after like user can also create records through the list view yes it is also possible let's say you have a specific model having a less fields and you don't want to create a form view and you have to directly create or update those records in the list view it is also possible so Odoo supports that part we will see in our next session then after like you can see also the aggreg aggregation function also supported by the list view like let's say the numeric fields also available in Odoo site right like let's say the integer field and the float field let's say in our custom model like student profile like student profile having a one field which is a total fees right that field is there so if like if user want to see some of that numeric column in the list view or the average of that specific numeric column in the list view it is also possible using the aggregation function we will see this one also in our upcoming session then after like you can add some styles to the specific record in the list view plus you can also add colors in the list view for the specific record set it is also possible then after like you can also like user can also prioritize the drag and drop feature let's say like i have a 10 records uh, 10 record is there but I want to see the last record in first or first record in last or middle to drag and drop anywhere and I want to see that feature like that feature is also supported by the Odoo itself. So we will also cover this part in our upcoming session. Then after like user can also visible or invisible the specific columns. Like let's say I want to display fixed fields in the list view but some fields i want to hide but use based on the user need they can just select those fields and it will automatically visible in the list view that is also possible in the list view and here like you can also control some actions let's say the create button is visible in the list view right then after import then after duplicate delete or export the excel file format like those are the actions in Odoo which is provided by default but if you want to prevent such actions using the list view it is also possible we will see this discussion in our upcoming session last but not least here like whenever you are performing any search view related operations that time few things also supported by the tree view I mean the list view here so we will see those parts also in our later discussion here like we already completed the overview of the list view i hope you understood right so let's go to in 
editor to trying to create one simple list view here i hope you understood right in case if you have any doubt related list view please comment below so let me go to here like okay before like doing anything here like let's say i'm going to student profile here now you can see this is the list view right like whatever operations i can do here using like archive on archive delete then after this export button you can see here this create button is also there then after in favorite you can see the import records so all are the operations you can also manage then after you can see here this icon like once you will click here it will export this current screen records into the excel file so you can also handle such actions using the list view then after like right now what we are doing is like we are achieving one part like how we can create this list view from the scratch for the student profile let's see how so first thing is i'm going to an editor let me open here one more open this module like like say i'm going to in views views.xml file and now you can see this is the student profile and this is the list view here might be you have a doubt why i'm saying this is the list view because you can see here the tree tag is defined let's say the form view if you want to identify the form view then you can just go to here you can see after this line like this architecture line you can see always the form type like form you can see here tree so later on we will create a kanban view graph view then after we already covered the search view so you can see here only the name having a difference only that's it so let me comment here this list view and i'm trying to create a new list view for the student profile so here like i have to do one thing is like i have to create a one list view so for that like i have to create a new tag the parent tag which is the record and here i have to provide two attributes the id and the model here the model always should be like ir ui dot view why because this is the model which is handle all the supported views in odoo site and here like we have to provide the unique id of this list view so let's say student list view demo and here like i have to add here subfields which is the field like here i have to provide a name and this name is the field name of this model and here like we have to provide like student dot list dot view dot demo like this you can also add more content if you want like do dup means the duplicate like then after name and here we have to provide a model name so why we are using this model because let's say i want to create a list view for the student profile so you can see this is the student profile model so we have to use the same one here like school dot student that's it and here like field name and here we have to provide arch architecture it means and what is the type like we can just add here always xml that's it and under this tag we have to provide the specific view like let's say form view kanban view tree view i mean the list view all then after yes yeah, search view and here like let's say i am adding id field then after the second field is create date like actual create time then after like who created so i am just adding here create underscore uid and here like name equal to i will provide here the student name like 
field name equal to school underscore id and that's it right now you can see these fields these three fields already created uh, these three fields handled by odoo so when you create any model in odoo either the wizard model or i mean the transit model or the simple abstract model so here like odoo automatically create five different fields with different data type it will always create which is the id create underscore i uid then after create underscore dead then after write underscore dead and write underscore uid like i already explained this one in our previous discussion discussion is already available in that playlist also and here this field this two field actually we created for this model for the double confirmation you can see here you can see this is our student school dot student model and now you can see here this name field is here then after school number is here okay let me add this role number also field name role underscore number all right so total like six fields available in the list view once we upgrade the module so let me go to in terminal restart the service plus upgrade the module like school underscore student now i'm going to in browser and trying to refresh the page now you can see like this list view override with the new one so you can see here like id create date then after who created this record then after roll number then after name then after school name and total fees is there you can see here this total fees display automatically we didn't add this field in our preview right then why it will display here because like we already in inherited the fields view get method basically whatever we want to uh, if we want to do some operations with the view related in the python side that time like we can use this method fields view get and you can see here this we extended the tree view here like once the school id found after like school id automatically we can add this total underscore fees field so that's the reason like it's showing in the front end side and don't worry about this method i already explained very well with the different test cases and it's also available in the playlist so let's back to our main topic like like this way you can create a tree view here i hope you understood right like how we can create a tree view and our next session would be like how you can create records using the tree view so our next session would be that one and in case you have any doubt related the search view please comment below and see you in next session